Right, in this video, what we're going to look at is 9.8 of the HSE Grade 10 workbook. Uh, and they've asked us to find all the true lengths of all of these edges of the pyramid, including the base. We can have a look at that as well uh, on all of these different things. Well, I'm going to start out and I'm going to say, well, if a line is parallel to the XY axis, then the line in the opposite view is going to be the true length. So if I look at this, I've got line 1, 2, which is actually on the xy axis, which means it's very definitely parallel to the xy axis. That is parallel. Therefore, this line 1, 2 in this view is going to be a true length. Um, over here, uh, 2, 3, that's also a true length because it's parallel there. And 1, 3 over there is, well, it's parallel in this view and parallel in that view, which means that this is a true length and that length of 1, 3 over there is a true length. So we can mark that as true length over there. All right, um, our problem is that some of these lines over here are not true lengths. And we're going to have a look at that um, in, and how to go about finding that true length very, very easily without having to draw huge numbers of x, y axes and all sorts of things. OK, what we're going to be doing is doing what they call the cone generator method. I'm going to take a line out over here from this naught or the apex, you could say. All right, so I've got that line over there. It's a construction line. And you'll note that this line over here is parallel to the xy axis. So what I can do here is I'm going to take this line of naught 2. That's not a true length. Why? Because, well, it's not parallel to the xy axis. And this over here is also 0, 0,2, and that's not parallel to the x, y axis. I need to try and take this line 0, 0,2 and make it parallel to the x, y axis. So what I do is I take my pair of compasses, I extend it to that length over there of um, 0, 0,2, and I'm going to draw a line, draw an arc at least, not a line, draw an arc coming out from 2 up to that line that I drew parallel to the x, y axis. Once I've done that, I'm going to take a line going up to the xy axis. Okay, in other words, what I did was I swung this line around until it was parallel to the xy axis. And I can now draw a line going down to my new two, I like to call it. Okay, so I took two, I put it over there. I took it up to the xy axis, so I've got a new two on the xy axis. And I now have this length over here. Let's just draw that in a bit darker. That length over there, which is going to be a true length. Why? Because 0, 0,2 over here is now parallel to the x, y axis. Therefore, I have a true length. OK, I could do the same with 1 naught. Let's have a look at that. I take 1 naught. I draw that down onto the, onto the line that I drew parallel. And I now have a distance of one naught parallel to the xy axis. Draw a line going up from that new one up onto this xy axis. Let's put my new one over there. And I can say that that length over there is a true length as well. So one naught, there's my true length over there. Right, so that's called the cone generator method, um, where I take this length, I swing it up until it's parallel to the xy axis, draw a line up onto the xy axis, drop a line down from that apex down there, and that length that I've got there will be the true length of 0, 2. This story, drop it down, up. That length over there is a true length of 1 naught. Um, let's have a look at 3 naught. Well, I'm not going to do anything there, because if we look at it, this length and that length and that length, they're all the same, aren't they? Um, and if they're all the same here, and they have the same angles here, and you can see the angles over here are the same on either side, well, if I've got this length of one naught, then I know that I've also got that true length of um, three naught being the same as one naught. Right, let's have a look at this one. Well, we said that uh, all of these lines over here at the bottom, they would be true lengths, why? Because this, uh, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, and 4, 1, they are all going to be, um, they are all parallel to the x, y axis. Therefore, I've got true lengths on the base over here, 
TL, TL, and TL. All of those lengths over there are all true lengths because of the parallel. Um, I'm going to say, well, let's have a look at these lines over here. That length and that length and that length and that length are all equal to each other. And the angles that I've got over here and over here, they're also um, equal. Um, and this means that as soon as I found one true length over here, then I will have uh, the true length for all of these lines over here. Let's have a look at this idea. Remember what I said about a line being parallel to an xy axis. If I look at one naught over here, it is parallel to the xy axis. Okay, there's my xy axis and one naught is parallel to the xy axis. If one naught is parallel, then I already have a true length. I don't need to do any special code and generator or xy axes or anything. I can automatically label that as a true length. If that is a true length, then I've got the true length for 4 naught, 3 naught, and 2 naught. Okay, this one over here, again, the base is parallel, and I've also got something called a point view. If you look over here, I've got 1, 2. 1, 2 is represented as a point view over there. If it is a point view, then the line in this drawing is going to be a true length as well. So point view equals a true length in the opposite view. Parallel means a true length in the opposite view. So one, two, that's a point view. Therefore, I've got a true length. One, four, well, one, four is parallel in this view and in that view. So I've got a true length over here as well. There's a point view of three, four. Therefore, I've got a true length over there. And I've got a, a, a line three, two over here, which is parallel. Therefore, that is also a true length. Over here, that line of one naught, there's naught over there, one naught, it's not parallel, nor is this one parallel, so what do I need to do? I need to draw a line going out parallel to the xy axis. I'm going to take my pair of compasses, place it at naught over there, extend them out to that length over there, and I'm going to arc one down onto that parallel line over there. So I've transferred one from up there down onto this line that is parallel. I'm now going to extend my xy axis out just a little bit over here. I'm going to draw a line going up to that xy axis. So I've transferred one from there to there and up onto this xy axis. So I just moved one across and I now have a true length distance of one naught over here. L. And I can now say because that, 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 and that, they're all equal to each other. Therefore, this true length that I've got over here will be the true length for one naught, for four naught, for three naught, and for two naught. Right, there's your cone generator and the idea of a point view being the line on the opposite side of the axis will be the true length or a parallel line to the X, Y axis, I've got true lengths as well. If they are not parallel or point view in these views, like one naught over there and one naught over there, then I need to figure out what the true length is and we can use this cone generator method, especially when they don't give us space to do the X, Y axis parallel to the, to the, X, y, um, to the line. Right, there we go.